Another community is left mourning tonight after the general manager of La Scala restaurant in Little Italy was shot and killed late Sunday night. While heading home through Fells Point along Eastern Avenue and South Broadway, 44 year old Chesley Patterson's life was taken. WJZ's live Christina Mendez is in Little Italy and spoke with the owner of La Scala, who's demanding something be done to curb the ongoing uptick in crime in our city now. Christina. Vic, the owner tells me that Chesco was more than just a general manager here. He dedicated nearly two decades worth of time at this Italian restaurant, and people who dine here frequently, they loved him and they knew him. Sorry about this, but it's so sad that good people die in this city and the criminals run the city. Sitting somberly inside La Scala, people here reflect on memories with 44-year-old Chesley Patterson, known as Chesco. Chesley was here about 17 years. He was a general manager for 14 years. But like I said, he was more than an employee. He was, more, he was a family member. He was like the brother never had. Nino Germano, the owner and chef of the Little Italy restaurant, says after closing up shop Sunday, Chesco was on the way home, driving through Fells Point on Eastern Avenue. He might have stopped by to get cigarettes and he gets shot in the car. We got to worry about going home. Germano says this is the second time an employee has been shot and killed over the last two years. The first, an 18 year old hostess. A third worker lost their life in a motorcycle crash in October. WJZ spoke with Chesco during that time, remembering the life lost. There's a massive hole here. While this community is in mourning again. It's horrible. Many look to leaders for solutions to end senseless violence. You can't defend against um, some of these crimes. They, have, they occur randomly and they occur so fast. It's very difficult to uh, affect a change that way. It's got to come from, you know, enforcing the laws that are on the books. We've got a beautiful city. Let's keep it beautiful. Let's make it better for God. Homicide detectives right now have not arrested anyone connected to this case, but they are actively looking into leads. So if you have any information about this case, contact their agency. I'm reporting live from Little Italy. I'm Christina Mendez for WJC.